tensile geogrids, high strength polymer structures with a diverse range of civil engineering applications. The tensile process was developed in Blackburn, England, where the grids are manufactured for distribution throughout Europe, the Middle East, Australasia and the Asia Pacific region. The tensile products are also manufactured under license in Atlanta, Georgia for distribution throughout the Americas and at a plant near Tokyo for the Japanese market. Dr. Brian Mercer, the founder and president of the company, initiated and directed the research which culminated in the development of the tensile process. The process commences with the extrusion of the polyethylene or polypropylene sheet to very fine tolerances. These polymers were selected because of their proven resistance to long-term chemical and biological attack. A regular and precise pattern of holes is then punched in the sheet, which at this stage has a relatively low tensile strength. The long chain molecules are drawn to an ordered and aligned state under the application of controlled heating and stretching. This molecular orientation dramatically increases the tensile strength. Grids which have been formed by uniaxial stretching have a high tensile strength in one direction and are primarily used to reinforce soils. High tensile strength in two directions is achieved by heating uniaxial material and stretching it in the transverse direction. This unique process has been developed by Netlon Limited. Axial grids are particularly suitable for reinforcing bound and unbound aggregates. Molecular orientation provides several significant physical benefits. A high modulus to ensure mobilization of the high tensile strength at low strains. A substantial increase in creep resistance enhances long-term performance. And as the orientation passes through the junctions, a strong integral grid is created. This integrity ensures that tensile geogrids are able to transfer loads without rupturing at the junctions, unlike knitted, woven or welded pseudo-grids. Strict systems of quality control are operated at the tensile manufacturing plants. The quality assurance procedures in operation at the UK plant have been certified by the British Standards Institution. As well as maintaining a rigorous check on the quality of the products during and after manufacture, Tensar geogrids are also subjected to long-term tests in the company's laboratories. Products are tested in rooms maintained at temperatures between 10 and 40 degrees centigrade to generate data from which the assured long-term characteristic strengths are derived for particular civil engineering applications. The long-term structural performance and durability of Tensar geogrids are confirmed by international certificates awarded to Netlon Limited including the Institute for Bautechnik Certificate for Reinforced Soil Structures, the British Board of Agriment Certificate for use in structures with 120-year design lives, and the CESD GCO Hong Kong Endorsement Certificate for Reinforced Fill Structures. The company has an ongoing policy of research and innovation to enhance the technology and to prove new applications for tensile geogrids. Technologists within the manufacturing companies work closely with universities and independent institutions worldwide on a wide variety of research projects. An in-house design group provides free design suggestions for the use of tensile products to clients around the world. The group's extensive design experience is complemented by the company's area civil engineers and distributors worldwide who provide local technical assistance at the project feasibility stage and during the preparation of contract drawings and specifications. Practical advice is also provided on construction techniques and methods of installation for the grids. Tensile geogrids are employed in four major areas. The reinforcement of bound and unbound aggregates, the reinforcement of cohesive and frictional soils, the control of erosion on wet and dry slopes and in wastes management to protect the environment. Biaxially oriented tensile SS and AR grids are used to reinforce aggregates. 
This is a familiar problem with construction over soft ground. A common, although expensive, solution is to increase the depth of the subface. However, tensar SS geogrids provide an immediate improvement in the load-bearing characteristics of a weak subgrade, which enables the thickness of the stone to be reduced with consequent cost savings. Tensar SS geogrids interlock with and reinforce the subbase. Consider the way in which the aggregate of the subbase subgrade interface moves under the application of a wheel load. Individual stones oscillate and the soft subgrade moves to fill the voids. This mechanism, which is known as pumping, contaminates the aggregate, resulting in a loss of its frictional resistance and subsequent rutting of the surface. When a tensor SS geogrid is installed at the sub-base subgrade interface, the partial penetration of the stone through the apertures of the grid creates an interlocking action and increases the tensile strength of the sub-base. This mechanism prevents pumping and transfers shear forces to the grid, greatly increasing the bearing capacity of the subgrade and the life of the road. Consequently, reinforcing a sub-base with a tensor SS geogrid enables savings of up to 40% in the thickness, without any subsequent loss in performance. Engineers use tensar SS geogrids to combat weak, low-load-bearing soils, to stabilize rail track ballast, and to reinforce unpaved access roads, haul roads, or car parking. Sub-bases reinforced with tensar geogrids feature in many major civil engineering projects, including highways, runways, and commercial developments where they control differential settlement and reduce maintenance. Although a single grid layer is sufficient in most applications, these appalling conditions prompted the use of a multi-layered system of grids to provide a rapid, economical solution. Installation is simple. The grid is unrolled and covered with stone, which is compacted in layers to the required thickness. Tensar AR grid has been specifically designed to reinforce asphalt pavements by controlling both reflection and fatigue cracking and rutting. The grid is installed within the asphalt layers of the pavement at the optimum level, determined by the mode of failure to be controlled and the requirements of the contract. The open grid structure enables the asphalt layers above the reinforcement to mechanically interlock with the grid and to bond to the bituminous layer or concrete below. Tensar AR grid can be used either to extend the life of the pavement or alternatively to reduce asphalt thickness. Uniaxially oriented grids have been proven in numerous reinforced soil applications around the world. The diverse applications range from embankment foundations, slip repairs and steep slopes, to vertical walls and bridge abutments. The ability of the grids to reinforce soils is a result of their high strength, their ability to resist damage, their low creep and the way in which they interact with fills. The bars or ribs of the grid transverse to the direction of primary loading provide a series of bearing points and anchors. Soil loads are transferred to the grid by this interaction and via the integral junctions. This mobilizes the maximum resistance from the reinforcement. A simple demonstration shows how an immediate increase in the load bearing capacity of a soil can be gained by reinforcing it with tensile geogrids. Two cubes of a soil have been formed one of which incorporates layers of grid and the other has no reinforcement. When a man stands on each cube, you can see how the grid intercepts potential shear planes. This mechanism is exploited in embankment basal reinforcement, where uniaxial tensar geogrids are placed strategically to intercept deep potential failure planes and minimize differential settlement. Where embankments are to be constructed over relatively thin layers of particularly weak or variable soils, a tensile GSL mattress can mobilize the maximum bearing capacity of the soil and avoid the need for costly excavation. If an embankment is constructed over weak subsoil without taking any precautionary measures, a failure plane may be created which passes through the embankment and follows an arc to a point beyond its toe. The tensile GSL mattress acts as a relatively stiff, rough plate which forces the slip plane to pass vertically through the GSL into the deeper layers of subsoil, which are generally stronger. When the thickness of the weak subsoil is relatively thin compared to the embankment base width, the potential slip plane is driven down into the firmer strata below. 
the potential punching failure mechanism is also intercepted, and hence plastic flow in the weak layer becomes the critical mechanism. Rapidly assembled on site, the geocell is a one meter deep open cellular structure which is filled with granular material. Once filled, the geocell provides a rigid, high strength foundation for the embankment, a construction platform for earth moving plant, and it also acts as a drainage layer. In the repair of slips and landslides, engineers have traditionally excavated the failed soil and replaced it with a more stable granular fill. Reuse of the slipped soil, reinforced with tensile geogrids to intercept potential failure surfaces, has enabled rapid repairs to be carried out at a fraction of the normal cost and with the minimum of disruption to traffic. Tensile geogrids can also be used to enable the construction of steeper slopes without the need for further land take, for example, in road widening schemes. The construction of a steep reinforced slope can be observed during the construction of a golf course in Hong Kong. As this slope is particularly steep, the reinforcing layers of grid are being wrapped around sandbags at the face. This wraparound detail is not usually required for shallower slopes. A grass finish may be achieved by incorporating turf blocks, soil and seed filled bags, or a thin turf liner within the wraparound detail. Tensile geogrids also provide an economical method of reinforcing retaining walls and bridge abutments. For this project, construction of bridge abutments commenced by erecting and temporarily propping steel stanchions. Concrete planks were slotted into the webs and tied back into the fill by horizontal layers of uniaxial tensile geogrids. A brick wall was constructed in front of this facing to provide an attractive finish. Retaining walls may also be faced with full height or incremental concrete panels, timber, natural and moulded stone blocks or gabions. A wide variety of products and techniques are available for the control of erosion. For example, tensile mat reinforces vegetation on slopes to protect against erosion. Tensile mat is a three-dimensional erosion control structure with an upper cuspated surface which provides an array of pockets and traps. The mat is simply rolled down the prepared slope, pegged and filled with a topsoil seed mix. Tensile mat initially holds the topsoil and seed in place to aid the establishment of vegetation and in the long term serves its primary function of reinforcing the root system against erosion. Drainage ditches, lake and reservoir shores and other intermittently wetted areas can be protected using the mat. It can also be either pre-cultivated with grass to provide immediate green cover or filled with bitumen bound gravel for immediate erosion protection in permanently wetted areas. Rock faces can be stabilized by cladding the surface with tensile GM grid. The grid often allows vegetation to gain a foothold on faces which have previously proved infertile. There are many ways for engineers to exploit the geotechnical merits of tensile products in waste management. High profile, high flow drainage nets form the basis of leachate collection systems in composite landfill linings and leakage detection systems. Tensile SR geogrids reinforce the base of landfills and soil veneers on slopes to prevent slippage and to protect the integrity of lining systems. The tensile GSL mattress enables landfills to be built over poor ground and when used in conjunction with steep tensile geogrid reinforced bunds, it allows vertical expansion of existing sites. The company has received numerous accolades including two Queen's Awards for Technological Achievement and three for Export, the Prince Philip Award for Plastics in the Service of Man and the McRobert Medal, Britain's leading award for engineering science. Tensile geogrids are the engineered solution for the reinforcement of bound and unbound aggregates, the reinforcement of cohesive and frictional soils, the control of erosion and in wastes management. The use of tensile geogrids in these diverse applications is based on extensive in-house and independent research. The benefits have been proven in countless international projects. Netlon Limited, through its extensive network of international distributors, invite you to take advantage of this expertise.
Tensar Geogrids, a product for the 21st century and beyond. Comprehensive product literature, case studies, technical specifications and further videos are available from the Civil Engineering Division, Netlon Limited.